Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Digital Business Masterclass Series. I'm your host, Terry Carell. Now, over the past few weeks, we've learned about building your brand, applying great business strategies. We've learned about the benefits of digital transformation and how to manage that money. And the feedback has been absolutely phenomenal. So as usual, you guys know how this works. We love when you ask your questions. So make sure you submit your questions and make sure that you use the hashtag Digicel Masterclass, hashtag Digicel Business. We look forward to getting those questions and of course, providing the answers. Now today we will announce an amazing business mentorship opportunity for new as well as existing entrepreneurs. But you got to stick and stay. You have to stay tuned to listen to that announcement. But for now, our eyes are on the prize. Let us talk about success. To each person, success means something different and it feels different. But what does it take to be successful during the times that are most daunting? Well, who better to talk to us than a man who has a successful proven track record over the years? And this is a man who has been led by not only conviction, but by results. Joining us today is Christopher Williams, co-founder and CEO of Proven. Now, Chris's leadership and visionary outlook have resulted in Proven consistently achieving double-digit net profit growth and recognized as the first company to live trade U.S. stocks. Chris has earned numerous accolades for his accomplishments in the financial sector, including being nominated for the renowned Observer Business Leader Award, a recognition reserved for the high-performance CEOs in Jamaica. Now, Chris's journey to excellence was launched by his academic achievements. He attended the great Jamaica College and furthered his education at the University of the West Indies, where he earned a BSc in accounting. He later earned his master's at the prestigious Schulich, I believe is how it's pronounced, Schulich School of Business at York University in Toronto, Canada. All of these things make him the perfect master. So make sure that you grab your notes, grab your pens, your pencils, because the class is now in session. Sir Chris, yeah. welcome. Well, I on. see you clapping well, when I said the great Jamaica Absolutely. college. The college, the college. You Listen. Know? You know, the introduction can, can stop right there, sir. <laughs> Wait, say it don't. Oh God, yeah, I can yeah, just yeah, imagine yeah. persons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine the chat rooms and, yeah, yeah. and the, the social the key, media pages the lighting key, up the now. The key to success mm -hmm. is that, is that, um, is that uh, GSAT um, results. Mm. That's a Jamaica College. Oh, wait, You're yes. good, right? <laughs> Listen. No, but thank you. Welcome to the show. We know that you are a very busy man. And just to give us the 60 minutes, we really appreciate it. We've seen how COVID-19, the pandemic, has really shifted the entire landscape across different industries. Yeah. But then we see people like you, the little times that we see you, seemingly diversifying and expanding and looking for opportunities. Um, how do you, what, what makes you tick? What makes you get up every single night? What, what makes you move? Yeah. Well, uh, I think that, and I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Thanks, thanks Digicel, for, for inviting me and, and for us to share um, our thoughts and, and, and debate this topic called you know, success mm -hmm. mindset. Uh, I think that it is critical, Terry, that we understand that our mind is, is, is probably the most powerful tool mm -hmm. in our arsenal, right? It, 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 it can be the difference between um, a solid, well-structured, uh, well-successful life and not. Mm -hmm. and, and we want to spend a lot more time discussing how do we train the mind to deliver what we want to deliver. Correct. And that's, and that's pretty much what I have done, you know, over the last bleep bleep number of years <laughs> we're not going to date you we're not going to date you we're not we're not going to date me we're not going to date me but but uh I, I think it's it is it is critical that we understand that our mind and by extension our mindset mm -hmm. determines how we look at life and how we respond to the challenges that life presents us and 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 that's what drives me i I spend a lot of time and focus managing my mindset yes. to ensure that I am in this game, this war called life, mm -hmm. and I am battling it every day 
seeking to find ways to win it. Right. And, and that's what I want us to, you know, to, to, to talk through tonight. And it's, it's perfect what you just said, uh, even to just to start the conversation, because we have to acknowledge that even if we know about the brand building, and even if we're applying the right strategies, and we know about the digital transformation, and even how to manage the money, if the mind, based on what you're saying, if the mind is not ready, if it is not equipped right. to adjust and to right. be flexible, right. then really yeah. all of those things count for nothing. And, 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 and what I've learned is that the mindset that we evolve into mm -hmm. as human beings comes from one of two. And, and, and you know, it comes from, back in high school, we used to say, boy, um, Tommy, Tommy Good, Tommy Bond, so. Yeah. Tommy Bond Bright. Or, or Usain Bond Fast. Mm -hmm. Or um, you know LeBron James Bond or Mar Maradona Bond this way. This is just natural right? born talent. This is talent. just natural born talent, and we we convince ourselves into thinking that we are limited by whatever our natural born talent is, or is not. Mm -hmm. And so we spend almost every waking hour just trying to find what that talent is. You know, so I remember during my days in high school, me try everything. I you know? so, <laughs> play cricket, I play football, I run, I right. jump, I sing, I play volleyball, I swim. I try every sport. Come and say, no, I must have to find something <laughs> somewhere. I have to find something. I'm born with something. You know, and so I want to know what my talent is. And I think we've, we've, sold, we've sold ourselves the wrong message mm -hmm. over that period. They are those. What's the message we should be right. sending? But, but I want to first recognize mm -hmm. and accept that there are the Usain Bolts out there, mm -hmm. right? There are the LeBron James. There are the Maradonas. There are those that just, that God just stamp the and prodigies. say, Yo, they were just supposed to be that. They're just supposed to be that. And just, but don't be distracted by that. Don't think that that is the result of everything. No. Mm -hmm. There is another th um, process of developing our success mindset, mm -hmm. of learning through life and of evolving ourselves. You know, before we came on, you, you were speaking Spanish, you know? And, and or I thought, I think yes, you were I, speaking. I don't know what the hell, I don't know if you were really speaking yes. Spanish, because I didn't have a clue. But, I was. but as far as I could understand, as, as you tell me, you were speaking Spanish. Um, but you obviously taught yourself that, you know, you, you, you went through a process of training your mind. And learning. Absolutely. And learning that. And so we can do the same with our mindset. Mm -hmm. We can develop a success mindset over time by training our mind to react to certain things. So let me, so let me ask you this then. What are your success habits? Like right. hearing you talk about right. your, you know, you know, managing your mind. Right. What are your success yeah. habits? So, so I have a couple. I have a couple. The first, and I would say most critical, mm -hmm. is that every single solitary thing may have a set goal. So right now, may I tell you, I have a goal. I want to get more viewers than Gary. <laughs> Gary, say Gary, Gary was on, Gary Pierre was on last week. Listen, so cameraman, he really put on a show. I'm begging him. I'm begging him. View, tell your friends, everybody. Click, click like, click and on, share. log on, share. Me have best one. Me need for beat Gary, right? Because that's a my everything. We have a goal, right? <gasps> so me and, and Gary, you always reach your target or or no, or no, no. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about that. But but firstly, in life, you have mm -hmm. to get up every morning and you have to understand what is your goal. Mm -hmm, what is it that you're seeking? Don't 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 say yes. Um, you 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 want to um, you know win the Grammy. Um, set, set specific, simple steps first. The first step I want to is beat Gary. <laughs> yes, sir. So the second step is more on beat um, um, Nasha. Right. Then, the, you understand? Then, then we keep. You will so, be the best in class. Right. And then be the best. In, so, so set step by step goals mm -hmm. for every aspect of your life. Because I don't, it's not Chris Williams is success. Yeah. It must be Chris Williams is successful. Hmm. So it is a process of training your mind to seek to be successful at various things. Right. First thing is, I want to be successful at master class. Right. Then I leave her, so I want to play ball, I want to be successful at ball. I want to score two goals tonight at ball. Mm -hmm. Third thing is, I have my, my, my fitness level, I want to be able to run three miles. Fourth thing is, I have my relationship. I want to be able to maintain my marriage and, and so on. Mm -hmm. Right away, I need to big up my wife. Because... All right. I like you're a good <laughs> man. Yeah, I need to achieve that What's goal. What's the ratings, yes. though? Just come in on the show. <laughs> right? 
And so every aspect of your life, you have to set specific goals daily, weekly, monthly. Do you and, think it's and, also important to set timelines because there are also persons set who set goals and, and the set, goal and just, time, a move. just keeps just on a moving. Move. No, and so it you have to set, set you want to achieve, timeline. the goals must be smart. Mm -hmm. So they must be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, target, timely. Hmm. So they must be time bound. So you must be, you must be able to say timely. it is going to be achieved by X mm -hmm. and, 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 and we must be clear on that. I, I have all of my goals put down in my phone. Mm -hmm. I have it straight up. And I mean, from the time I was, I was, con I was at, added to this lineup and I saw Gary was on it, I immediately messaged him and said, yo, may I beat you? Yeah, so, so I set the goal right away and, him, you know, so we, we... Is the fact that you're competitive, because I can sense that you are a competitive person by nature, do you no, think... Well, no, I'm not saying forget that about right, nature. Well, okay, forget right, let me, the nature. Okay, so I let me retract. Let me, you've, developed, you've developed a competitive right. Um, trait. Right. Do you think that that also helps you? Absolutely. With your winning mindset. Absolutely. Your, your you, mindset. You, you, need to, you need to train yourself to be competitive mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, the drive for success is one that is innate. Mm -hmm. So you have to find things to excite you, to get you, to get you pumped. Right? So, I mean, I could always just come here and just do the thing, but no, I turn it into something competitive so that I can put in more focus and practice more so that I can deliver a better presentation here so that I can beat Gary. But you know, that, that it's, just, <laughs> it's just that you set yourselves mm -hmm. your, your various targets to, 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 to be successful. So I hear you talk about setting the goals, making sure that they're target friendly, making sure that you can measure. Right. Because if you can't measure it, right. then how, so we know how do you know? How much, him, how much viewers him get and how much viewers me want to get. So may I have it measured. And you're gonna look at it afterwards to, make, to, to, and to see how that Absolutely. goal was met. So then, what is your your own definition of success? As we said, it means things. It's different I for have, people. I have, right. I have What's various. Yours? I have various um, measures of uh, of being successful. Mm -hmm. So my 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 first focus is that I hit all my goals. That is how I I determine if I am successful. Mm -hmm. So I have my weight goal. I have my wealth goal, I have my career goal, mm -hmm. I have my relationship goal, I have my, my, my football on a, on, a, on a weekend goal. You know, I, 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 I try to be successful. I have my Jamaica College charity goal. You know, I, every, I define various aspects of my life and I seek to be successful in those various areas. Now, let me ask you this, because I believe even with the questions that were coming in earlier from those persons who are participating across social media, a lot of it is, okay, so we've trained our mind. We, you know, we've, we've trained ourselves to be competitive and we've trained ourselves to get these goals and have these timelines. I'm almost positive, and maybe you can let me know if I'm wrong or right, that you've had moments when you've been like, shoot, this is not going where I want yep. to go, or what I yep. predicted, yeah. or the type I mean, of you know. I mean, it's a the, part reality of life. Is, the, the reality is, you know, Gary may have spent some money. I'm <laughs> <laughs> rich, I'm richer than me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm rich, you understand me? So he probably spent some money, we run some ads, you right. understand me, and get some viewership over me. You but maybe that's how so you beat me. He beat me. You understand me? So you know, but um. Every car mm -hmm. is built with shocks. Mm -hmm. And no matter how them build the cars, good, with all this GPS and everything, the car, them still build with shocks. Why? Because no matter how good they are, they're still going to hit a bump. So the reality is you are going to hit bumps along the road. Mm -hmm. And your attitude is your shock absorber. That's, those are your shocks. So you have to have that attitude where I bounce, yeah. I bounce back. So, yes, him beat me. All right, no problem. May I make sure Digicel do another MasterCard? <laughs> <laughs> so next year again, we're back again. And I'm saying, we, you know, we're going, we're going to take the shocks mm -hmm. and we're going to bounce with it. And we're going to try and be better. That's, that's a, you have to have that um, reality check in you. And to not and take have it personally. That, and, not, and have that, and have that don't, don't relax. I mean, this is, this is, you know, there are bigger, there are bigger issues facing the world. But, but you know, you Chris, know? that is one of the biggest issues that we're having. We're, we're having people youngsters all the way up, entrepreneurs looking at other persons, looking at other persons' and, definition and think of them success. Don't, and think it's pure and success. They, and they think it's all about the success, and they keep on comparing themselves 
and their lack no. of success based on what it is no. they're, they're And seeing. I'm saying I, I, have hit, I have hit a whole heap of bumps. Mm -hmm. A whole heap of bumps. And I hit bumps daily, you know, daily. But you have to have that attitude. I mean, that's why, that's why I love Jamaica College because it is at Jamaica College that I was taught mm -hmm. this, this strategy of mindset, you know, because, I mean, you know, it's like 10 different teams of child for me to make one. <laughs> <laughs> No, but, you know no, but so I say, I have to, that's where I get the shocks. Yeah. Because I have to bounce back. I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to make football. Bounce back, all right. I mean, to this day, I'm still going to try to make JC Manning Cup team. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, oh, gosh. Hush about that. But, but it's funny because you're right. For, we're, we're speaking about the fact that your journey has to come with bumps. Yes. And it is your attitude. So you are someone who, if anyone looks by definition of what success is, they go, whoa, yo, the man is top. Top, top or top. In fact, even on social media, there was somebody who said when he realized that you were going to be on the, on the show, said, no man, Chris Williams is not just a master in class. He's best of class. He's transformational. That sound good. That's sound good, right? That's and I wondered like if you son. paid him, all That's right? That's all like But the question <laughs> that I have for you, as you mentioned your bobs, is can you share, for example, an example of maybe your biggest failure? Because you can't oh, talk God. about success oh, without God. failure. What, what I mean, is like one of the failures I, I, where I, I had to, I have had several. I've had to sell my home in order to, 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 to pay bills. Mm -hmm. um, take my wife out of our, our, our marital home, right? And sell it and in order to pay bills for business ventures that, wow. I, that I took on. You know, wow. and, and fail that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I mean, that's why, you know, no matter what, you know, happens with, with me and my wife, I mean, my her, yeah. you know, 1,000% one, 1, because she's still supportive, support supportive. Me through that. And, and I mean, my, my firstborn, you know, he came through, you know, when we we're, we're struggled through, yeah. I try to recover from that. So, you know, in life, you either win mm -hmm. or you learn. Mm -hmm. You never lose, right? So you get up, you run, you run the race, you never win. Learn. So Learn when I sell the house and, and thing, I say, you know what? And my wife can attest to this. Not one home that I lay my head on, I take another mortgage on. Because Oof. I say, I don't, want, I don't want ever have to sell a house. And be displaced in and any way, shape, or form. And displace my family. So any house that I lay my head on, it can, the title must be put on and she have the title. Because we now go back to that. So you live and you learn. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, don't, don't, it's not, it's not black or white. This is, these are some of the misconceptions that we go through and we absorb and we think it's, life is not black or white. And it's it, going to be perfect. And it's going to be perfect. perfect. So, you know, so you either, you either win or no, you learn. You, you never win this race. All right, bounce back. Use up your shocks. Use your attitude and, and thing. Right. And another thing that, 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 that evolved from that is the management of your emotions mm -hmm. because that's the emotional a, intelligence. That's the emotional because develop. what happens is that you, you, you get down, right? Because you, you never win, you learn, and you, 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 you start to get down. And I'm saying, no, manage your emotions. I, 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 <clears throat> when, I was, when I was at NCB, we used to have an annual talk with um, Dr. Agri Irons mm -hmm. um, as, a, you know, as a therapist, as a, as, a, as a mental therapist. And he said to, to us, and, and to me in particular, that as the CEO, you had to ensure that you were making most of your decisions at your resting heart rate. So because the mind operates best at your, resting, at your resting heart rate. And the resting heart rate is where you are calmest. That is when you're in a deep sleep. That's a resting heart rate. So you so want to try and manage your emotions so that when you are executing or all your a goals, decision. or mm -hmm. when you're executing on all your goals, you are doing so at your resting heart rate. Hmm, that's right? a good tip. No, so, so, so manage, stay calm. And I use, and I, you know, people used to always ask me, who is Willie? You know, because every, everywhere I go, I used to, I, them, them hear me saying, Relax, Willie, relax. Yeah. Relax, Willie. That's your self-talk. That's my talking to myself. Because, I mean, I, I have to manage my emotions. Mm -hmm. So I talk myself into calming down and say, all right, relax. You're going to beat Gary. You're getting over <laughs> and, if, and, 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 and believe it or not, we're making, you know, we're joking and everything. But everything that you're saying is basically that we, we have the power, as you started off by saying the mind is powerful. We have the power to train, to manage not just how we execute, but our thoughts, our thoughts and our attitude. So let me ask you this, because you would have seen 
youngsters, colleagues, um, your employees, what are those vices that can affect one's quest for success? What are some of the things that you see people doing or you've heard about where you say, you know, that's a trap that a lot of people fall in? I'd say, I, would say, I would say, I would say, um, you know, there, there are a couple, but I would say two in particular. The first, the first one is um, inspire mm -hmm. and be inspired by others. So uh, approach your life in a way where you are um, looking for others mm -hmm. to, to model yourself. Right, to emulate to in some emulate way. To emulate in some way. Right? I, you know, I'm not saying a carbon copy, but to take something from them. And so you always have a, a mentor mm -hmm. that you are. You may, not, you may not know the person. It may be somebody that you track virtually, online, virtually right? And, and, and you are saying, I'm going to seek to, to, to learn as much as I can from how this person operates. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so be inspired by others. I spend my nights um, um, listening or reading, right? But mainly listening on YouTube for the various interviews mm -hmm. for all the people that I, that I look at for inspiration. Do you have a particular person that you look like? A, if you could think of all the persons Absolutely. who you look to, Absolutely. Jamaica, Co Jamaica College old boy, Danny Williams. Our Danny Williams, you know, and I mean, I'm very close to him, mm -hmm. and I, that, I did that strategically because I looked at what he did with, with Life of Jamaica, no, yes. Sajikor. Yes. And when I was, you know, going through my evolution with Proven, I, 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 I researched how Danny put Life of Jamaica together and, and how he, you know, garnered the support and right. built that brand. And, and, and I spoke, and luckily I was able to meet him yes. and to develop a solid relationship with him. But, but, I, but I learned from him. I just sit back and just listen to Danny and just ask him questions. It's, just ask him questions. And it's interesting because Paul Bronson says it all the time. He says that successful people, like the really successful people, leave breadcrumbs. Yeah, man. They leave breadcrumbs. Inspire and be inspired yes. by others. And he so in the same way, them. in the same way that I'm sucking knowledge from Danny, I, 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 I surround myself mm -hmm. with mentees. Because I, I also learned my move into Proven was actually driven by a conversation with a mentee. Yes. A mentee turned to me and said, why aren't you seeking to do it? At that time, I was CEO at um, NCB. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's saying, why aren't you seeking to go out on your own? You're encouraging me to be an entrepreneur and so on. Why not, why, why not you? Right. Why you don't try? And he, he challenged me as yeah, my mentee. Absolutely. So inspire and be inspired by others. And that kind of, that kind of um, interrelationship helps you to grow. Um, <clears throat> other, another, another weakness that I see is the lack of self-awareness. Uh, I, 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 I want us to be frank mm -hmm. and honest with ourselves. Yes. Be frank and honest with ourselves, right? It's funny you should say that because I, I, was, going, I was going to ask you about persons who fake it. There are people who <laughs> fake success. They, or as you said before, you know, you should be inspired but not necessarily copy. So what we see are people who try to copy what success looks like or they try to copy right, a person. Right, but right. then that kind of success is no, never... You, you have to, you have to, be, you have to try and, you have to try and be real. Mm -hmm. You have to try. You know it already in Jamaica. You have to, you, have, you know, people, people respect you if you're, if you're article. I don't know if they still say article. Yeah, but we do. Yeah. We, we, we're not dating ourselves, but yeah, we, we do. Yeah, we yeah, use yeah, the term. Yeah. yeah. So you have, to, you, have to, you have to be down to earth and frank and practical with what you are. Right. And recognize that, listen, the reality is you, can, you, you are good at this and you are not good at that. And work and, on your strengths and, and, and work, not your weaknesses. And, and accept your, 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 your strengths and accept your weaknesses and, and, and literally have them documented. Mm -hmm. And that's how you approach your goal setting. So if, if one of your weaknesses is procrastination, then you, then you begin to take this on- This a lot of con yeah, a while ago when you talk about procrastination, procrastination boy. You take on, you, then you begin at, whether it is in your old, old boys or old girls association, whether it is at, in your sports club at work, whether it is in your, in your personal circles, take on little challenges so that you force yourself to be in action. Yeah, I've, and, I've, and I've also, uh, you know, just running on what you just said, I've also heard um, that when it comes to success and strengths and weaknesses and being honest and having that honest self-talk with yourself is 
The things that you're okay at, the things that you're mediocre at, the things that you are bad at, delegate. Give that to people, outsource it, let those people take it. But if you are able to focus on what your strengths are, then that is when you can strategize for yeah, a very yeah, yeah. high level. Yeah, yeah, high but level I mean, strategy. and 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 that's you know that's one of the the benefits and beauties of relationships. And you try to build that in your relationship because that's what my family structure um, allows me to do. Because I mean, my, my brother, my older brother, passed earlier this year. Sorry, and brother. and and the thank you. And, and the whole funeral arrangements and so on, you know, um, I just, them just know that I am not that, you know, that type of person. Mm -hmm. I just going to break down, you know, I just can't manage that. So, you know, the family jump around and then, you know, my, my wife and my sister and so on take on all of those responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And I just stepped back because it's not that, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, I, I must, you know, you I know, must be self-aware. And you I know where you understand you where. Best. So I focus on other aspects of executing the, the, the memorial service. Right. They focus on, other, you know, some aspects of it. And we all so, get it done. And we all get it done. But, you know, that's not, that's not a sign of weakness. You must be self-aware. You must understand what it is that you are strong with and what, what it is, is that you're weak with. And, 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 then, and then you can seek to evolve it. I mean, I, 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 I am saying, all right, fine, I'm not um, strong at that. And I want to get stronger. Mm -hmm. So I would you know, take my time and, and, and work with, with my sister or my wife to understand what they're doing in terms right. of the burial and so on so that I can strengthen myself. For, for you know for 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 dealing with it so do, not that I'm I'm giving up on on that weakness no absolutely I'm, I'm taking my time to build myself in managing that weakness and that is fine and, and that, that is, is and that is admirable and so besides you know the goals and the timelines and the settings and being able to measure and doing all of these things and and managing your mind how do you stay motivated well I, I stay motivated by um, Primarily, my stretch goals. Mm. My stretch goals are what um, helps me to, to stay motivated. And um, so if, 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 for example, um, you, know, you, are, you are looking at me and saying, you know, I'm successful. I'm looking at leeching mm -hmm. and saying, I want be, that's where I want to get to. I want to get to leeching. So I, I, so I, you're never complacent. You're, you, it I, doesn't sound I, like you. I, you, no, re, you do not rest in your me success. Me not rest no. at all. Me mm -hmm. not rest at all. I'm gonna tell you as soon as me beat um, Gary in viewership, me I go for another. Me I go for Nasha. You know what I'm telling you? Understand me? Yeah. And after me beat Nasha, me I go for Terry. No, but I you hear no. I hear the drive. <laughs> so yeah. So you, you want to. You have to keep motivating yourself, and it's the same thing in everything. It's football. You know, I want to make sure that, you know, I, I control better, pass more, my, my movement on the field. So I always set in myself additional goals and new targets. And I can't say it enough. Every single solitary waking hour, you must have a to-do list. Yes. You must have a to-do list. Uh, those who plan, those who fail to plan. Plan to fail. Plan to fail. <laughs> Me, I plan every day. Every single day, I have a plan. I make sure this is what I want to achieve today. And, and, and that's what keeps me motivated along with, along with, along with my attitude. Um, and, and by the way, I hear that the questions are lighting up. I'm coming to you guys right now. Another thing that I want to, to, to jump in at is, and, and it's something that I learned over the years, mm -hmm. is taking responsibility. Hmm. Right? Accountability, yes, Accountability. Sir. You have to, we, we, we pass the stage you now in life. I beg, I don't know where the camera is, but I beg on Jamaicans, please, no bother with this thing where we are, where, where are talking about, boy, I never do this because. And I this person Tommy, falls. And, that, and, and uh, you know, the, 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 I never mean. And JPS because this and, you know, the, the, the lady never put out the thing and I slip and I call me slip because I'm, 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 oh God, man. I said, take responsibility. For, own, for own, own, it. own, own it. Yeah. I mean, I remember at NCB, you know, I got a, a, a task to, to execute. I'm going to Patrick Hilton office, who is the group yes. CEO. 
I'm going to go to Patrick, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give him, you know, I'm going to talk. I'm going to Jamaica call him. Yeah, this is high level. So I'm going to give him the original excuse. I'm going to say, Patrick, boy, you want to see? It's because, yeah, yeah, yeah. And literally, the man, like, drop asleep in front of me. The man, like, drop asleep. Wow. You understand me? And Patrick said, listen, honestly, I never want to hear it. I never want to tune you out a long time. I never want to hear it. You Yo, the man put your pie on mute. Put, put, the man drop asleep in front of me. The man said, listen, success requires no explanation. So I don't want to hear none. You do it? Mm -hmm. No. Learn. Keep it moving. L keep, grow. And keep it. Grow. Learn and grow. And tell me how you ever grow. Nobody give me no one. Nobody waste my time and give me no holy for excuse. I said, boy, Patrick, I didn't do it. I, I accept responsibility. Mm -hmm. And, and that's this a great is tip. It, see, it may sound very simple. It may sound like something, you know, like, yeah, but it, it's, it's really important. Yeah, well, and that we see a lot of persons I not being successful. Every, every, the, the, you don't spend your days and nights mm -hmm. um, talking. The minute you catch yourself explaining. Catch it. Catch it. Reel and come again and say, listen, I, 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 I apologize. I did not execute. Um, this, this is how I'm going to improve. And this is and, how I'm going to get it done. And I'm going to get it done. All right. Well, we're heading over to our social media, our, 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 our clan. We have questions that are going to be coming in via the online chat as well as those that are coming across social media. We've had amazing questions for the past few weeks. And so this is Cassell from Twitter. How do successful people master the act or the art of pivoting in unfortunate circumstances? Yeah. Uh, as I said, every car... Build with shocks. Mm -hmm. Every car, the, 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 the wickedest range, and, and, and which have, you know, and, and Lamborghini and Porsche and all of them, them all have shocks. Mm -hmm. And they all have the, 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 these, these high technology to navigate, and yet them still hitting bumps in the road. So right. you are going to hit bumps in the road. It's your attitude and your emotional intelligence that we discussed earlier. And Those are the two critical things that you have to train your mind in. You have to talk to yourself. Again, as I, always, as I said, you know, the, the man used to always ask me, who the hell is Willie? You understand mm -hmm. me? Because I mean, I always I say, yo, Willie, you're the greatest. Yeah. Willie, you can't lose. Willie, Willie, you're good. And you know, everybody was like, who the hell is this Willie? Yeah. You understand know, so You talk to yourself and, and, and make yourself believe Yourself. No. You know no, you're right. Um, in addition to that, uh, to Cassell, uh, what I'll also say, I had the opportunity of listening to John Da Silva, who is the CEO of Unilever, and he was presenting on the future of work and leadership. And he says, um, you know, the signs of a good leader, especially in, in daunting times, is that you won't always have all the right answers. But what you must be doing is asking the right questions. So when you're pivoting, ask the right questions and make sure you have the right people around you who you can bounce. Um, Attitude off. and emotional intelligence. Those are critical now. The last 20 years has shown us yeah. that it's pure shocks we're facing. Hmm. Whether, it's nine, whether it's terrorism, human-made um, shocked with 9-11, whether it's, whether it's um, climate change and, and weather-related shocks, Adjust whether it's health die. shock, you have to build which with, 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 with the ability to bounce back. Absolutely. So you're going to hit bumps in the road, build that kind of resilience and in character. your system, in your character, so that you talk to yourself and say, all right. So failure is not, it's not black or white. Failure is not, an, is not, is not, is not lose, you lose, you know. It's learn, you learn. Absolutely. You either win or you learn. You never lose. And on that note, we move to Robert Henry from Twitter. Hey, how you doing, Robert? Thank you for participating. What are some of the challenges that you experienced in the early stages, and how did you overcome these challenges? Oh, God. And some you might have, you, you had touched on, for example, the host, but is there another, free, um, another challenge that oh, God. My, my, you might have remembered? My emotion, first of all, I'm the, the last child. Right? <laughs> You're the runt. Me had a, me had a, me had a <laughs> wash, wash belly. belly. Me had a wash belly. And... I have an older sister, mm -hmm. and my mother, and my grandmother. So three females are growing. So I'm a spoiled, rotten. Yo, it's about 10 times I run away from home. You understand me? I run away from home. I say, them know, them know, them know, them know something for me. I'm like, vex. Oh, say, they don't love you enough. They don't love oh, me enough. Oh, my goodness. So I'm a, so a run away. And then, of course, I run back. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I see nightfall, <laughs> you know, some of the place dark. I said, no, brother, I'll go back home. Yeah. So 
you, you have to, to, to learn to, to, to understand your, your emotions mm -hmm. and how to, to, to settle them and how to manage them. Recognize when you are being unreasonable mm -hmm. and, and when, when your, 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 the challenges are overwhelming you and take the time to calm yourself down. So, so I, have, I have had the, the, those emotional um, challenges and breakdowns and I've had to recover from them. Right. I've had the financial challenges um, and have, have had to recover from them. In business, you have COVID. We, we, were, we were planning to do an APO um, in March. Wow. Our APO opened Corona the, March day, 10. the March 10th, the day that the first case was in Jamaica, was the day our APO was opened. So, I mean, you, you, you know, them, you, you were to abandon that. Yeah. You know, so you, you, you have a you bounce back. Legs, you take your legs, but you adjust. But I said, no, we still, we still talk to myself. I said, listen, go back. Really? And, Don't worry, we have it under you control. Really control. Really it. Yeah. <laughs> Bevan, Bevan underscore zero one from Twitter. With your current success, where well, we ask that question, what keeps you motivated now? And, uh, you know, um, my, my, I, I, I don't, I don't, you can't drive a car mm -hmm. looking in the rearview mirror. Hmm. You can't drive no car looking in the rearview mirror. So what gone, what success don't gone, pass. I never talk about that. If you notice, sometimes when them do them, um, them they, those, those interviews with the winning teams, like NBA or whatever, them, uh, within, within like a minute, they're talking about next year. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm yeah. They say, yes, we win this champion and, you know, and they're LA, already planning ahead. And LA, we're going to be back again. They're already planning ahead. So it's the future where, where some, we achieve that. We have proven, achieve X, Y, and Z. But it's NCB levels. When I say what well, NCB posts as profit, I feel shame. I say, yo. <laughs> <laughs> No, I said, no, brother. No, brother. This, uh, this, 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 this look like a little party shop business, mirror. No, no, yeah, man. So, no man. But so, you know, my, so I set my target off for of NCB. Let me ask you this question. Um, in, in terms of staying motivated, earlier you mentioned that, for example, you like to, to watch, you look for the breadcrumbs, you even like to read. Is there any particular author, authoress, book? I didn't say you... I like to read. I said I like to listen. Oh, listen. Yeah, well, yeah, any yeah. podcast? Is there any, any business podcast? Anything that you particularly like listening, whether it's a program or not? Um, I, would say, I would say that um, I listen to a lot of... I listen to a lot of motivational speakers, mm -hmm. right? Um, because um, I am trying to train my mind into being resilient and to, and to, and to ensure that my shock absorber is working because I know I'm going to hit bumps. Mm -hmm. So I listen to a lot of the Les Browns and the Traces and, and yes. so on and, and, and try and get them to motivate me and get me pumped up, mm -hmm. you know? So I can't even sleep at night because I listen to it before I go to bed. So when I don't listen to it, I'm like, yo, we're ready. Right. You know, it's work time, you know? Right. So, 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 so spend the time. I, I try and spend the time not focusing on listening to technical podcasts yes. on whether it is on finance or investments. No, I it's spend training. the time listening to training, training. my mind mm -hmm. on how to stay motivated and to stay pumped, right? Brittany Byfield from IG, where do you see proven five years from now? Very good question, because he's a man who said him looking to the future. So now this person, Brittany, asks, yo, where do you see proven five years from now? Why, Brittany? Acquired for billions of US or? Why, why Brittany? <laughs> we can't, we don't, even, we don't even know if I can tell you. You understand? We don't even know if I can tell you. But honestly, um, I really think that we have a lot more work to do at Proven. Mm -hmm. I really think we have a lot more work. When I, as I say, when you when see, when you see, I mean, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're on pace to do, you know, between 1.5 and 2 billion in, in, in profit. And NCB just recorded a down year at 27 billion. Yeah. So, you know, I, 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 I need to, older. yeah, mm -hmm. man, and, and, and I need us to, to, to get into the, the top, you know, the, 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 the top five mm -hmm. in terms of profitability across the region. And that requires you to be in the region of, you know, 15, 15 to 20 billion. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, that's where I said I have, I have some, some, some net profit after tax targets. That's my primary target. Gotcha. Uh, and then 
I work down from that in order to, to hit that kind of net profit number. What do I need to do? You know, do I need to do acquisitions? Do I need to do um, uh, um, yeah, how do I growth, get to that goal? organic growth? So I break it down from that. But the, 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 big, the big goal and target is, is, is to get closer to NCB. All right, I hear you. Neil Bobby. That's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting name, Neil Bobby. The question is, what is one piece of advice you wish, very good question, you had received early in your career? That one piece of advice you wish you had received early in your career? I would say that the, 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 the area that we zoned in on, um, which is, I'd say two. Mm -hmm. One, the area that we zoned in on, on taking responsibility. And I, I really do think that <clears throat> we have a, a cultural mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, um, 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 habit of, you know, um, not uh, taking responsibility. And uh, I, I want us to get rid of that and, and zone in on, on what we did not achieve yes. and accept it and, and then Rectify. learn from it and then learn from it. And, I, you know, I think I you know, spent too much time you know, saying, boy, it's because of X or because of Y, which shifts, shifts the responsibility from yourself and, and sometimes justifies your inaction. And then the second thing is um, uh, lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. uh, the commitment to lifelong learning, you, 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 you tend to feel that your technical training is sufficient to be successful in life. So mm -hmm. I hit the bachelor's, I hit the master's. So I'm like, I'm good. You're sailing. So I'm sailing now. I have the degree them. But you, you, you have to commit to lifelong learning so that your, the, the, the core, most powerful tool in your arsenal stays active and keeps improving, which and is the mind. Learning. Yes. So, so spend the time. Like it's just now in my, you know, my old age. You understand what I'm saying? I'm old age now. It pop down. You yes, no, 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 but, but you're right. And people have even gone as far as saying across your journey and as you continue to evolve, you learn, unlearn, relearn. It's a lot of things a, that you constantly do. You have to do. stay. You, see, you, you, you tend to feel that like the minute you step out of, uh, once we come off of the plane from Toronto, I say, yeah, man, I'm good, man, I'm an MBA, I'm good, and I'm learning, top done. Top. Yeah, man, that's just dollars right now. But, it, but the dollars comes from training the mind. Mm -hmm. So it's not the technical training. We, we spend a lot of time and money zoning in on improving our technical competence. And the certification and the qualification. I want you to spend the time improving your psychological competence Ooh. to making sure that you are a machine. No get. You know what I'm saying? To... to to train your mind to say, listen, man, we can deal with this. We mm -hmm. can deal with this. We can deal with this. Because the psychological um, training never stops. Hi. Nugget. Great, great, great answer to that fantastic question. Marlene Lamont, how do you pass on these gems in practical ways to your kids? Oh, I mean, I'm going to hold them. Mr. Zachary, come here. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Zachary. Oh, Yo. gosh. I'm going to have Zachary when I see him. <laughs> oh, do Yo. you pass it on? No, um, I try. I spend, I spend time. Uh, the, the younger one, uh, he, he goes to bed a lot earlier. So mm -hmm. I, I'm not spending as much quality, motivational time mm -hmm. with him. Spending a lot more daddy time riding him bike or in quad or taking him here or there. But in terms of the older one, which is, um, who's 22, JP, I spend a lot of time with him at night. Mm -hmm. So while I'm doing the, the, he's up late, I'm up late, I'm listening to the podcast, and he's hearing it, and we're talking. So nice. we spend a lot of time exchanging just uh, tips on, on, on how to train the mind. Mm -hmm. um, he's, he's, he's zoned in at this period in his life on technical training. So... Um, because you know which this is, is understandable. The, which is 20s, understandable yeah, in your twenties. Sure, sure. But I'm trying to push in there at the same time. The psychological, the psychological to, to, to turn him into a to a machine. Yeah. You know, to um to say, listen man, you know, you you can be whatever you want to be. You can train yourself to be that. And I'll also tell you this, um, even the moments that you may not be able to actively um say something to them, one thing I will say is that kids tend to model 
what they see right. sometimes just by observing how you yeah. approach certain things yeah. and just watching you there there are a lot of things that they, yeah. they pick up i try uh, i try and then if that if that i'm feeling them <laughs> 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 Moving on to the next question. And by the way, thanks for the questions, guys. We really appreciate it. Theodore Williams, how do you balance the demand of business and family and still have time for yourself? We hear him say, try football, him do football every weekend. We're still you know. a child, yeah, yeah, make the Manning's Cup team. We wish him all the best. You yeah. know? But how do yeah. you. And is there any such thing as balance? Does that even exist? Why that no exists? May I tell you the God's honest truth? I mean, I've been at it now for years. As I said, my, my eldest is 22, so mm -hmm. father for 22 years. I've been married 25 years. And, and, you know, it's still, it's still a, a, a daily struggle. I, I'm very structured, mm -hmm. and my family knows that. And they know what time I get up, they know what time, what I eat. I eat the same thing for breakfast, same thing for lunch, same thing for dinner. I, I'm very, very structured. I work out at the same time, and, and you know, by, by 10, 11, they know that I'm listening to my... So, so I, I try to stay in my structure, mm -hmm. um, but it's difficult because, you know, they have their own needs mm -hmm. and um, sometimes their needs um, will, af will affect your structure. And um, you, have to, you have to break your structure to, to accommodate them. Absolutely. So, you know, it's, it's an ongoing. I wouldn't say that, you know, I have mastered that. Um, and, and, then, and then, of course, there's business which... It's not something that I do, it's something that I love. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I love Proven. Proven is my baby. You know, the, I mean, the, the logo design, the name, everything, you know, comes straight out of, you know, out of the house, yeah. you know? And, um, and, you know, the first presentation to, to Peter Bunting, to, you know, to get him on board, my wife actually did that. You know, on our on our laptop. Look at that. You know, so it 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 it, it takes over your life. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. Sometimes you have to catch yourself and say, listen, you know, the, everything can be about proven. Let us back off and spend some Correct. family time. Let's talk about you know how we're feeling. And my wife is good at that. <clears throat> um, so it's, you know, I try, I try with, I try with it. Yeah, and it, and, it, and it sounds like I mean that's a very honest and open um, uh, response, and we really do appreciate it because sometimes needs will have to be prioritized. Yeah, yeah. You have to reshuffle you have and to you have to restructure have to all re while making sure that nothing gets left behind. Yeah. So the whole idea of balance can be very far fetched, but it's something that you have to continue it's working not, on. Yeah, it's, it's one thing I can say. It's not consistent every day of the week. Mm -hmm. Some days, family, family focus is greater and, and, and business is down. Some days, business is, is greater and, you know, family focus is down. So it, 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 it fluctuates. bounces around. But ho hopefully over the long run, it balances out. Absolutely. Brittany Byfield from IG. What advice would you give small businesses to lessen their chances of bankruptcy? Capital. Mm -hmm. Capital. Um, it's, it's an area that I'm passionate about. I'm the chairman of the Caribbean Alternative Investment Association. And it is, it is the area that, that proven uh, is, is built on. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and what we need to evolve more is the evolution of business on the back of equity capital, yes. not debt financing. And primarily the debt financing has been um, consumer debt financing um, or even worse, um, micro um, financing mm -hmm. uh, rates. And that is extremely difficult for the business to absorb the shocks because uh, as I said, and I've said it over and over and over, you're going to hit bumps. Mm -hmm. And then when you hit the bumps, the, if the business does not have the capital, the capital is the shock absorber yes. for the business. And if it does not have the capital, the minute you, you hit a bump and your income gets thrown out, thrown out uh -huh. you can't make the payments to the bank, your business is gone. So, so we have to evolve into a, a capital structure in our business endeavors. That, that, that shows greater emphasis and focus mm -hmm. on equity. And, we are, and it, is, it is improving. In Jamaica, it is improving. We've seen that with the, um, the, the stock exchange, with the junior market companies that yes. have come, to, come on the market and have raised capital. And in Carrier, which, which, which I'm the chairman of, we're now seeking to establish venture capital 
funds very cool very so nice. that you small businesses can access venture capital funding in order to get the capital to start the business as opposed to running it on them credit card or getting a payday loan mm -hmm. or you know all the other um, ways that they seek to, to get cash to get the business started. But those, those approaches, even though you get money to start a business, is not sustainable hmm. in that way. Yeah, we've certainly heard about it. And we've, we've seen that, that terminology come up a lot in terms of capital and understanding that cash flow and having, um, having um, access having that, to it having, is having still that king. Shock up. And, and, the, and, the, the, and, and it's not new because over the years, those that had the aunties and the uncles were able to access capital around the dining table. Yes. So they would go to Uncle Tom and say, listen, Uncle Tom, I have, have an idea, you know. Beg you something now. You know, invest in my business mm -hmm. and give me, a, give me a, a soft loan. And that's how they would get started. Now, obviously, if you don't have that kind of family support, we um, need to put in place the infrastructure to allow you to still access capital. And that's what we're seeking to do in, in the association. We're seeking to put in place angel investors Very and good. venture capital funds that you can apply to and, and, and pitch your business ideas. Chris, thank you. Thank you. We're done already? Well, you, you, uh, you, no, no, no. no hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are the numbers? What are the numbers? What are the numbers? <laughs> so stay. Okay, so what oh, we're look. going to do we'll is... Be, we'll be so, so how the numbers normally work is after we wrap, that is when we will see the engagement. We'll see more questions coming across the whole week. And then you'll be able to really get your numbers. You know what I mean? You won't find all your numbers now. Really? But when we wrap, okay. you know, okay. the, 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 the number's up. So, okay. you know, my producer and everybody's telling me, yo, opting, opting. But you okay. see, the Moin. thing is that all he, right, all right, he wants to know <laughs> if he beat Gary. No, but in, but in all seriousness... You know, we tend to see um, um, persons such as yourself. We see you in the news, you know, you're on TV, and we don't always get a chance to really sit down and have a, a conversation like this. And just to hear how you think and what moves you and what motivates you, it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense understanding your habits, why you're able to do all the things that you do when most people are trying to figure stuff out. You're always planning ahead. It seems like you're always one step ahead. I want, I want, I want to, I want to, I, you know, I, I, I'm, again, I'm very thankful for this opportunity that, um, that Digicel has, has given us. Um, <clears throat> it gives us an opportunity to speak to the psychological um, uh, needs mm -hmm. of, 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 of entrepreneurs, of career-minded individuals, um, et cetera. <clears throat> and what I want to say to you is that your mindset is not black or white. It's not fixed. You, it is not fixed. Mm -hmm. It is you can have and develop a success mindset. And there are some key things that you should zone in on. Mm -hmm. Zone in on the goals. Yes. Make sure you have your goals set every day. Mm -hmm. Zone in on your emotions. Zone in on your attitude, that shock absorber making sure that you walk like a champion talk and talk like a, like a champion. Action, not a bag of mouth. Don't be a, a, you know, we can't say bullshitter, is that? Ah, uh, maybe not. Yeah, okay. But, but we, yeah, but, but yeah, you know, we don't, understand. Don't be a don't waste man. Shop, yeah. No, no, you know, deliver. So put, set yourself targets that are achievable and, and hit them. And measure. And, and hit measure. them. So, so, so action, take responsibility. Mm -hmm. I beg you know. Take responsibility. Don't, 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 don't make the man them drop asleep when you like what happened to me. <laughs> Which zone in, zone in upon it and said, I'm sorry, I learn. You either win or you learn. learn. You never lose. Then I'm, I, I, I'm saying to you, inspire others. Mentor be or be mentored. So let right. me ask you a question, because you just mentioned the term mentor. And I know a lot of persons are waiting to hear this huge announcement. And it is the business mentorship opportunity that was mentioned earlier. And so really what is happening is Digital Business, in association with JMEA, will be selecting 12 entrepreneurs to be mentored in a one-hour session with a leader in business. Now, we've had masters come on. Everyone has confirmed. Digital Business has even gotten masters who have not been on this series and are not a part of this series. So the question is, are you confirmed as a mentor for this mentorship series? A one-hour session 
Why 12, entrep 12 Why entrepreneurs will be chosen, selected <laughs> randomly. These are persons who would have registered, and this is how you're going to beat Gary right now. Okay. And the numbers okay. are Okay, I'm in. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Yeah, man. We're in. Yeah, but, man. But, Sign but, me up. But Chris, every single week, persons from all over, they register digitalbusiness.com. They've been participating. They've been sharing this information, and a lot of them just need one hour. Yeah, and man. so the fact that we yeah, can man. get we're you guys to confirm, yeah, you man. heard it here, yeah, and you heard it now, Chris yeah. Williams, co-founder, CEO of Proven has said yes, which means that if you're not registered by digitalbusiness.com for free, you will miss out on this amazing mentorship opportunity. And again, you could be a new or existing entrepreneur. Applications open December 3, 2020, so just make sure that you register. Thank you so very much, Chris. Your master of class, best in class. Your Jamaica Gary. College, fervent. Jama Jamaica <laughs> College. And you guys know you can always find us here on Thursdays at 6 o'clock. Keep the questions coming. Keep the comments coming. And we will see you next week where we will be talking about productivity and balance. Who is our master of class? Marcus Steele, former CEO of British Tobacco. Can't wait. See you then. You're going to check your numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to check your numbers. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it's it. Now we win. <laughs> <laughs>